it sounds like a lot of this was mental and and psychological right like you had the physiological ability to do it you probably could have done it in your 20s if that's your capacity as a 44 year old 45 year old what were the mental unlocks that that those guys helped you help to achieve and and how did they go about that and there's so there's so many and they're so interesting so the first mental unlock is you know pain is a psychological process as much as a physical process and like where exactly is the line between physical and psychological nobody knows but you know and i can't define the word pain i'm not going to define the word physical i'm not going to define the word psychological i'm not going to find any of those words but we kind of know what they mean so when does pain set in well it sets in when certain physiological things happen and it also sets in when your body gets afraid that it's going to you know lose homeostasis or you will be able to sustain what you're doing and so one of the ways to train is to convince your mind that you can do it right but the problem is that the only thing you can use to convince your mind that you can do something is your mind right so like it's hard right like and so one of the things that Steve Finley in particular did is he had me run like very short intervals, like 200 meters, right? I would do like 32 by 200 at oh my goodness. You know, like 34 seconds, right? So I'm running, but, but what it means is you're looking at your watch and your watch is like 438 pace, right? Or, uh, you know, 440 pace or 444 pace, whatever it's showing it's showing you these numbers that look absurd, right? Because I wouldn't, when I was doing my old training, I would you know, maybe I'd run like a little bit at like 555 pace. But what he was doing, you know, maybe there's some physiological benefit to running 32 by 200, but there's real mental benefit because like you look at your watch enough and it says 440 per mile. And then when he has you out there, feels slow, <laughs> <laughs> right? Then when you're out there and he's like, okay, now I want you to run two miles at 520 pace, maybe it's not quite so scary, right? And maybe your brain at some psychological level is like, okay, I can run two miles at 520 pace. And then you run two miles at 520 pace. And then maybe when you're out there on the course, right? And you're trying to break 230, which is whatever it is, 541, I can't quite remember, right? Um, or you're trying to run like 555s or whatever you're trying to run, which is at 555 is what I was trying to run in the 50K. You know, you run all those miles at 520s, so but 555 isn't so scary, right? Whereas the Nick in... October of 2019, which is when I ran 229. If you took that exact physiological nick, right, with the exact same weight and heart rate and muscular strength, and you had put him in June of 2018 when I started this process, I don't, I wouldn't have broken 240, right? It would have been too hard mentally. And so it required all of this mental work and this physical work to get myself to that point where I could go so much faster. Then, of course, then the next question is, well, Nick, if it's mental, right? And Steve was able to like play these tricks on you to get you on 229. Like, why didn't he get you to run 215, <laughs> right? Um, and they, at some point, there is a physical limit. And you know, maybe like maybe it was COVID. Like, maybe he could have gotten me to go faster. Maybe I could have run at 225. Like, I don't, I don't actually know what the exact limit would have been if I had been able to keep that system going before it kind of all broke down. 